Mujibur Rahman, would you like to respond, sir, that this is a street veto running amok? No. Uh, firstly, I will uh, say who they are, what are they doing, what are they doing, or these. Uh, apart from these questions, I want to raise a very important issue through your uh, news channel. When law enforcement agencies failed, when justice delivery system is being halted, then people take law and order in their own hands. And they may act justly or unjustly. And it creates a mobocracy. And who is responsible? Our Home Minister. Why people like Nupur Sharma and Naveen Jindal are at large? Why uh, uh, they, uh, FIR has been registered under non bailable and cognizable offences? So it, it was very easy for the government of India and the Home Ministry and the Delhi Police and uh, to arrest them and put them behind bars. And they can uh, put a full stop uh, on this issue. But they are just giving a you can just uh, giving more air and more pressure to this uh, issue so to create a divide in the society Mujibur just Rahman, because are they you just one of want the it to also? be more uh, uh, are you one of those who have been booked Muslim. also some rallies not let me finish let me finish no i'm asking you a question me, have you let also let been me, booked let me, finish, let me finish let me finish let me just just 20 just 20 just 20 seconds some people are protesting against the nupur sharma and some are even uh, are we can see on the streets who are in support of her whatever she has said is right and uh, we uh, they endorse uh, this is shameless for a democracy and law and order system is just looking uh, no, no, one like second M Mr. Yes. Rahman, I'm asking you a question. I'm you are moving. saying I'm, yes, that because now, they are you, free several times yes yeah I, I heard so because they are free this is all justified. People will then begin to take the law into their own hands. That's what you're saying, right? Try to. I'm, I'm trying to understand what you're saying. Yeah, it's an, ang yeah, it's an anger of the people. It's an anger okay. of the people. Anger of the people. Now, viewers, I want to ask a simple, straightforward question to Mr. Rahman. Mr. Rahman, are you one of those who has also been booked? Pardon? Have you also been charged? Have you also been booked? No, no. Uh, what? Uh, no. Uh, it's a false news uh, about uh, me uh, that I have been booked uh, in Delhi protest. I just went there uh, when I came to know that uh, some people uh, who were protesting against uh, Nupur Sharma outside the Parliament District Police Station. I went there uh, and just uh, asked about the police the, why you have detained some uh, protesters. Then it, being a counsel, be, they, being their advocate, police just detained me for uh, nearly 10 hours. Sir? And they, uh, uh, so, they detained me at 12:30 uh, p.m. Just uh, I was I was an advocate, so you can uh, you can even imagine that the police do not want that the accused persons okay. uh, should get the so, legal. So, Mr. Rahman, let me ask the you: the justice system will work why if you is your will, name? Uh, even detain a uh, even why detain is, a lawyer in illegal custody? Okay, why is your name in the FIR list? Pardon? Rahul, I couldn't understand you. Why question. is your name in the list you. of... Why is your name in the FIR? Can you explain? No, no. Uh, F no, my name is not in the FIR. Only 30 person are named in the FIR. Okay. Uh, and I can read out all the names. Okay. So uh, I was, even I was the counsel of all these all 30, 30 people. I am One the minute. counsel of all Mr. these Mr. Rahman, are all those 30 people arrested? Yes. Are they arrested? Yes, all 30 people are arrested since uh, uh, yesterday. Really? Yeah, they are arrested and even uh, everyone today is arrested, oh, their is bail it? application has been rejected. No, no, everyone today is bail arrested. Bail application has been rejected. No, no. Yes, everyone, 30. Everyone. Can we go yes. through the names? Can we go through the names? Yes. Let's go through the names. Yes, I... Yes, I have yes, the names also. Let's have a look. This is a six-page chart sheet. And yeah, I can no. name Let's you. look at the names. Shadab Chohan, has he been arrested? 
Sabah Nakvi, has he been arrested? Has she been arrested? No. Hafizul Hassan Ansari, not arrested. Bihar, Bihar Lal Yadav, not arrested. Ilyas Sharafuddin, not arrested. Mulana Mufti Nadeem, as far as I know, not arrested. Abdul Rahman, not arrested. Act. Just a balancing act. No, no. When, One minute, Hare. Many, why, Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me no, finish. No, no. You said that balance, Nupur, Nupur Sharma has not been arrested. That's issue. why we are out. Now, what if the Hindu side said, none of these other chaps, Sadab Hussain, uh, Sadab Chauhan, Sabah Nakvi, Hafizul Hassan Ansari have been arrested. So we must also now hit the streets and pull down buildings, burn, shoot, fire, hit policemen, target Muslim homes. Look, would you justify FIR that? Has been registered yesterday. Would you FIR justify that? I'm asking you a simple question, no, no, Mujibur Rahman. This, since this both FIR you and Mr. Memon have invoked this victimhood, yesterday. I want to yesterday. ask: Would you would you accept if Hindus started hitting the streets, if they behaved and exercised like the advocate here is saying, J. S. I. Deepak, street veto? Would you call it Hindutva hate, or would you justify what they are doing? Because Guzar Ansari, Saifuddin Kutuz, Molana Sarfaraz, Minakshi Chaudhary, Masood Fayaz Hasmi have not been arrested, Asaduddin Awaisi has not been arrested, Imtiaz Ahmed has not been arrested, Danish Qureshi has not been arrested, Dr. Muhammad Kalim Turk, Atitur Rahman Khan, Nagma Sheikh, Abdur Rahman, Molana Mufti Nadeem, Ilya Sharafuddin have not been arrested. Would you want that? Simple question to you. Now, yeah, 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 now let me respond, please. FIR has been registered yesterday by Delhi Police against these persons. I am my friend. The FIR, I am asking you, since you are saying that Muslims, Muslims, okay, I, 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 I think the people, I've asked you the even question. Even the people do not know what wrong they have I done. think it doesn't no, no. matter. All I'm saying is, I'm, all then, I'm saying then is, now let me reply. the Hindu then side let, could react. You have asked the question down now, yeah, I tell think, me. let me reply. Give me the answer. Give me the even answer. The, even you do not know uh, what wrong they have Are, done. It doesn't matter even to me. I'm only saying that they have been booked. Nobody knows. Advocate J. Sai Deepak wants to come in. J. Sai Deepak, yes. React, react, sir. Comments with respect to shriveling that have been so that have been floating around on social media by people like Sabah Nakhvi have been around for at, at least two weeks now. And knowing fully well that the very same bloodthirsty calls that have been made with respect to Ms. Nupur Sharma, that respectable lady, and knowing fully well that she too could be prosecuted under Section 295A and 153A, she has come out with a cop-out tweet two days ago basically saying that we are going down a tricky path if we start prosecuting people for statements which are considered blasphemous because there could be two opinions on the same issue. Now, if this is the statement or this is the position you wish to take with respect to shivling into which a 63 centimeter hole has been drilled and which is one of the most sacred sites and perhaps the most sacred site for Hinduism and that is your position and commentators on social media circulated pictures of condoms over shriveling, specifically a lady called Sayani Ghosh has done this. These people are out in the large and out at large. And we are being told that some people cannot contain their anger and therefore they must be allowed to give free expression to their outburst and to their outreach and to their feelings of being sacrileged and whatnot. Now, how is street veto the exclusive preserve of a particular group? I'm sorry to say, I'd like to say which provision of the constitution secures for a minority this particular right saying, if you happen to be a minority, you're entitled to express your anger in a manner which is unconstitutional and that will be deemed constitutional. I'd like to understand which provision of the law permits all of this. Let me ask Mr. Sanjay Jha. Mr. Jha, some of your party leaders, the Congress party leaders, have come out and justified, Rashid Alvi, Rashid Alvi has come out and justified this violence. Which part of the constitution is he reading or does he believe that only one community in, in this country has the right to feel offended exclusively? Has any Hindu done what we are seeing at this scale against the insults to shivlings, Sanjay Jha? And therefore, if you believe that they have acted in a law-abiding way, allowing for the law of the land to take its course, then do you believe that this... And to quote again, paraphrase the advocate, Jaisai Deepak, street veto is acceptable in our country. Sanjay Jha. Uh, Rahul, we have had uh, 
fairly animated debate in my opinion for the last 45 minutes but if you have missed the woods for the trees i think the elephant in the room needs to be addressed india is facing internal disturbances as we talk the pictures on your screen are manifestations of pretty horrific violence and you know you don't want to risk a communal bonfire at all at the same time we are facing a diplomatic catastrophe and who is missing an action prime minister narendra modi who is supposed to be calming the situation both not just internationally because the brand image matters but to actually make sure the social harmony is restored at the earlier everything that all the panelists have said i think comes from deep emotions and i completely empathize with that the truth is this is why you need a leader no sanjay ja look and actually look, one minute people, one minute this is happening even in the state of jharkhand do you know what is happening in the state of jharkhand today i'm aware what are you aware of can you tell us what has happened tell us you tell us please what is happening i i, I was on another tv show where they said that there was a lot of violence there and apparently people have been hurt no not the people scenario. the police the the sp there he is and one person am i going to play out that bite from the police force is crying he's broken down he is absolutely scared witless oh isn't that, that's let me tell you that no, who runs powerful. one minute who that runs the state powerful. of jharkhand is it not a congress supported chief minister yes oh, or no my, well rahul that is my fundamental no, no point. your who point is India? your point who is to India? pin the blame no no no, no. You, your point is minute. to who shift the goal post tonight your point no. is to Are create an allowance i asked you to Modi condemn i asked you first to condemn the violence we don't need to see these scenes if people don't think that they have exceptionally a right to feel offended we would not have these scenes in the first place what okay. part of the law has not been exercised against nupur sharma there are cases that have been filed in maharashtra against her why is the maharashtra police not arrested her i am asking only one question no no i am asking you i am asking you sir don't you India don't ask me a question i am asking you the question you haven't given me an answer to any of my questions i want you to listen viewers have, to the whimpering policeman whimpering policeman point. who doesn't know what has happened to him today this is a state in jharkhand run by the congress the police hapless overcome watch this